Howdy folks, it's Jeff with our third and final Apple TV 2 tutorial series. Now I'm going to show you how to install XBMC after you install ATV Flash Black. So I'm assuming you already have ATV Flash Black installed. And you see what happens once you install it. You get all these options, Couchsurfer Pro, Last.fm, Media Player, Remote HD, RSS feeds, weather, and so on. So much to to delve into here but really our main focus is going to be with this right here at the bottom xbmc that folks right there this is the key to unlocking the powers of the apple tv because there's so many plugins that can interface with xbmc our main plugin is of course going to be play on and that's what i'm going to show you right here in a few minutes now you just install xbmc it's going to take a little a few minutes uh, and i'll speed it up here and you'll see xbmc installing and we should finish up here in a few seconds. You'll see the screen go black, it reboots, and it comes back up. And now folks, look at what we have here, XBMC on your Apple TV's home screen. This is the key folks. This is really the key to unlocking, you know, plugins that XBMC can use such as Play On. I'm gonna show you how to use Play On here in a second. XBMC is the key um, to actually interfacing with play on which allows you to do all sorts of cool things so let's head over to our mac now ironically play on only works with the windows so to get around that here's play on just search for it in google open that up here and first of all let me just show you what play on can do for you so what's on play on just click this link you see this folks you see all this yeah all of this you can access hulu you can access amazon vod for you prime subscribers espn3 so that's live ESPN, literally live ESPN, and it looks good. Um, you can access that via Play On and the plugin interface between XBMC and Play On. Now, unfortunately, as you see here, it only works with Windows boxes, but if you have something like Parallels installed, you can install it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download that, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up, well, once it finishes downloading, I've actually already downloaded it. So I'll just stop this download here. I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes, but I'll stop that download. Let me hit clear. Oh, I need to hit the X button there and hit clear. And I'll open up Windows. This is Parallels, mind you, uh, but it allows you to access Windows from your Mac. So Parallels is a pretty cheap, necessary thing, in my opinion. So just open up Play On once you have it downloaded and installed. And here you'll see the Play On interface. And it's really simple. Uh, you have quite a few tabs, but it's not too difficult to figure out. Your main tab that you want to focus on, you have, you know, just all these different tabs, but here's the main tab you want to focus on. And this shows all your different plugins, I guess you can call it, for play on. You have Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, VOD, NFL, MLB, NHL, YouTube, ESPN, and ESPN3, which is really the cool part about this. Um, all sorts of other different things you can access, folks. Um, and then there's even more plugins that you can find around the net that allow you to access even more channels and just a lot of cool stuff. Make sure it is running here under the general tab. And then one key part, if you're using parallels, you have to remember to do this. You have to go over to your network option in the bottom right hand corner and you make sure that you're set on ethernet bridge. If you're not on ethernet bridge, your Apple TV and XBMC will not find your play on installation and hence you'll be frustrated for a half an hour like I was. So. Make sure you're set on Ethernet Bridge if you're using Parallels. If you're using just a Windows box, you shouldn't have to really worry about that. It should pick it up. Uh, it is a universal plug and play. So now we'll just minimize our, our uh, Parallels application and get over to our Apple TV. And here you go, folks. This is XBMC. I've already loaded it up. Um, you just load it from the main menu like any other thing. And you go to Library. Now I'm going to show you how to actually reach out and touch Play On. So you go to Add Videos. And then you just hit enter there. And now we want to just type in UPNP at our add video source menu, UPNP and colon slash slash. Now there may be other easier ways to go about this, but this is the simplest way I could show you guys how to find this out. And I'm sure there's an easier way. I just didn't tinker with it enough to find out. So just type in UPNP colon slash slash and then just select done and then you should see okay at the bottom but if you want to rename the server you can do that the media source you can do that here i'm not going to fool with it and i'm just going to hit done go down to okay and on this next page you want to do the same thing just go all the way down to okay sorry i cut that off there and then we're going to back all the way back out to our main xbmc home page and then under videos you want to go to files and you should see the upnp media servers 
and you should see play on there there is my play on installation and here it is folks tons of different content available for your pick or choosing you have like adult swim amazon vod cbs comedy central espn3 that's one of my favorites hulu i mean etc so if you have a prime um subscription with Amazon, you can go right into the Amazon VOD and access all your instant video, you know, those free videos that Amazon provides us with. So and let's go to TV shows. Let me just show you something real quick here. I won't show a lot of it because of copyright issues, but I'll just give you a quick sneak peek of what you can expect here. Let's find, uh, I don't know, let's see if they got The Office on here. There it is. The Office season uh, one. Try downsize here. And they see that loads just like on the PC or your Mac and loads up Amazon Instant Video. And there you go, folks. That is the office. I'm going to cut this off because copyright issues, obviously. But there you go. There is how you play video. Um, and now I'm going to show you ESPN Live. Uh, ESPN3 allows you to, of course, view live coverage of various sporting events. As you can see, here is the Le Mans. So let's check that out here. Let's load that up. You can see it working in the bottom right hand corner. And this plays. This is awesome. This is one of my favorite parts of this um, live, literally live sporting events right there on your Apple TV using ESPN3, using Play On, using XBMC. So it's a lot of things you have to go through to get it, but it's worth it. There it is, folks. There is live Le Mans coverage right there on ESPN. So as you can tell, there are tons of different options, tons of stuff that you can use here. Now, here are some of the other things that you can have with the jailbroken Apple TV. Nitto TV for weather and things like that. Of course, here's your normal internet stuff, but that's a lot in itself. You have XBMC, you have your browser. You can actually do Google searches and things like that. You can actually browse the web if you want on your TV using Couchsurfer. Um, as you see, I'm loading up CNN. And this will load right up just like a normal browser. Of course, it's kind of clunky surfing along with your uh, Apple TV remote, but it does work if you need something quick. If you need to look up something really quick, it's very easy to do. So again, folks, this is the Apple TV 2. It's a little box, but it packs quite a punch if you jailbreak it and use ATV Flash, you install XBMC, etc. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you, especially if you're one of those cable cutters like I am. I no longer have cable TV. I'm just going to rely on my Apple TV for all my entertainment needs going forward. So like I said, folks, there's tons of different content out there for you to explore, for you to find. This is just really the tip of the iceberg. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this tutorial and the other previous tutorials below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.